Today we're doing budget challenge ice cream shops. Man, who's gonna do it with us? Well, me, you, and Blake. Uh, hey, so I like. can't talk to this thing on. <laughs> this is the Conehead edition. Here's how it works. We're dropping the ball down the Plinko board, and whichever budget it lands on is how much you have to spend on your ice cream pop-up shop. Oh, Blake, $200. Includes decorations, the ice cream, everything. Lieutenant Dan, ice, ice cream. cream. Get it, ice cream. Whoops. 75. Oh, oh. baller. Oh. Ice cream from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, the movie. Ice cream. I know you're here somewhere. Whoa. Ah, you got $300. You got left in the dust. Why does this always happen? Shut <laughs> Oh! Tesla's not even here, and I still got the low budget. Since I got low budget, here's my pre-made stand. All right, this is my pre-made stand. And since I got the big baller, I got the epic on wheels pre-made stand. Even got a little holder built in for a cooler. I can do a lot with this. Who built it, Blake? No. Oh. <laughs> nice, well, I got it, so. Whoever gets the most customers at our ice cream pop-up shop is gonna be the winner of this challenge. All right, well, let's get decorating. The he smell of Lobby Hobby. This is the most expensive store we could have gone to. The <laughs> idea is to get some an ice cream inflatable float and then just stick it up on my on my ice cream board. I want to get them before they get them. You don't even know where you're wearing around the store. All right, I was going to buy this, but apparently it's only one foot tall, so that's not going to get anybody to come to my stand. Like, it says it's over it. one foot tall. So what does that mean? Like it's at least one and a half. 13 inches. Can you turn this into an ice cream cone? Like true. <laughs> I'm gonna get all of them so they can't buy any of them. How much are these things? Nine bucks. Like all my budget on just this. Quick, come here. Oh, it's you over here. Yeah, this is exactly what I was coming for. No, 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 they're sold out. Oh, sorry. I see some cones right here. Blake thinks he's like so original with these ideas of his. I do. You think that? This is the most obvious thing here. Look what I found. Little cone displays. There's a really interesting dynamic going on here because the, they each have almost the same budget. I'm really curious to see who does a better job. True. My stand is automatically way better than I think. Yeah, but if you're... His brain's on another level right now with ice cream. Yeah. I'm on like creative blast mode. <laughs> So I didn't look at the prices of these. Apparently each of these are 16 bucks. Everything else is on sale in this store, but the foam is not on sale. You have to get smaller cones, my guy. This isn't my original idea. I have a better idea than this. So this might just be a pre preliminary idea. Not, this is the only pack of ice cream stickers. This is good. what's going to elevate my cart above everyone else's. Wow, there's only like six stickers there. Look, my cart's not that big. <laughs> I put a sticker on everyone's ice cream just whoosh. Wrong. They have more ice cream stickers. Well, I can like, technically buy these because he bought, he got those. Everything comes with a free sticker in my stand. Oh, these are cheaper than the ones I picked out. I'm gonna get some of those. <laughs> no, you can't copy. <laughs> what is? No, with you got the best stand. You should be able to like easily make your like. Yeah, I just gotta throw some stickers on there. Just take the same stickers. <laughs> I, I just gotta get some. <laughs> Oh <laughs> yeah, this place is a bust, dude. I need somewhere else. Okay, I am getting mason jars. I found a cool ice cream recipe where you fill this up with some ingredients, you shake it up, freeze it, and it becomes ice cream. All my customers are gonna get mason jars. The only problem with the low budget is I can't get too many of them because no money. To the paint. Ooh, you going like pastels? Yes. Those aren't the same color. You're right. This is too much like Isaac's color. All right, I gotta pick out my color scheme. I think I'm going with classic blue and pink. I'm going for the ice cream truck vibe, and so I found this bubble bath flavored paint that I'm gonna use to color out my stand. I definitely wanna make sure it's nice, bright, inviting. People wanna come to it. It's not got that like sketchy ice cream van vibe. This should be good. I gotta make sure Blake doesn't see it. He'll copy me. I'm gonna go with the classic Neapolitan uh, colors. Chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. And then I'm also gonna do an orange cream topping. That's a good idea, mm. right? I don't have a lot going on with my shop, but I am getting this color. Oh, I want to put my head in there. What? So one thing that the other guys are either forgetting or they probably can't afford is that music is essential for creating a vibe. So I'm going to invest a good, a solid $50 in a good speaker. And I hear that sound, they start running from all angles. I got someone. Got someone to do what? Huh? What did Jace do? What does Jace do? YouTube channel. Shut up, this is a real YouTube. We're on YouTube? <laughs> We're gonna go viral now. <laughs> I literally be scrolling through and be seeing y'all. Well, not y'all, but seeing well, stuff. Maybe if you maybe. subscribe. So if I follow y'all, I get a hundred bucks. Hi, get that. Mr. Beast. Uh, <laughs> I always 
Wish y'all the best on y'all YouTube channel. Hey, shout out to JSTU going viral. Let's go. Yeah, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a microphone. Should I get that? That's a good shout. I need definitely black. Dude, I don't know. I'm hyped up. Let's go. That man made my day. We need more people like him in the world for yeah, sure. Please. I mean, that's literally the motto is laugh daily. That's what we do. And that's all the items. Me and the boys are back from the store. It's time to get decorating, painting, and getting ready for these ice cream shops. I already broke my stand. Blake, can I take this off? Since I have the big baller budget, you're probably expecting me to go with some crazy, like expensive gourmet ice creams. But what I think I'm gonna do, because I wanna win, is get all of the classic ice cream bars that I can find. All the ones that you see on the sign of the little ice cream truck that goes around your neighborhood. There's no chance I can't win. Here's my game plan. I really wanna make homemade ice cream but I've only have $75. Plus, look at my storage area. It sucks. So I have a major issue. How am I gonna keep all of this frozen? My main advantage is mobility. This is gonna be the only way I'm gonna be able to beat the big ballers or run around and attack the customers before they even get to his shop. Uh, unfortunately, I think between our three, Andrew's is the most mobile. I'm gonna try to be mobile with mine, but it's kind of hard to get the whole thing up. But anyway, I have these decorations that I already cut out. Cut ice cream cone decorations. Man, how, are you gonna, how are you gonna make yours look like it's an ice cream stand? Look at this. Like that's obvious. We're just gonna and my my other strategy is to make my ice cream quick and uh, affordable. <laughs> they, don't have, they don't have to buy it. It's all free. I know. Got something. What? what did we forget? Paint brushes. Like I told you to get those. No, you didn't. I did tell you to get those. I remembered them at the first store. And I forgot them at the second store. So you did get some from the first no, store. So I said I'll get them at the second store. So you didn't remember them at the first store. And we got cans of paint, so <laughs> we do have the rollers. Perfect. All right, get rolling. Okay. <laughs> very gently, because Rick's back it can explode at any time. <laughs> we need more Rick in videos. I have to paint the ice cream for the cone decorations. Vanilla ice cream. Oh yeah. Out of this cone. These colors are coming along beautifully. I would for sure get ice cream at this little truck. It's a gender reveal. <laughs> a gender reveal cart. <laughs> Guys, drop a like when Isaac has a baby. If we should do a gender reveal budget challenge. <laughs> That's a way better blue. I'm telling you to get some. No, you out. I bought this. You picked like a weird cloud color. Gonna bring the customers in, they're gonna see the free sign, they're gonna be like, oh, that's free? I'm going there. If I have the biggest budget, I should have the coolest looking cart, and so far, I don't. Because I was looking at Blake's, and his is looking sick, so. And Andrew has a better blue than you. How did you get that blue? Because I'm smart. Isaac's trying to steal all my paints. He wants our carts to look identical. There's nothing I could do to make our carts look <laughs> identical. You guys have probably never seen this technique, but what you do is you make the stencil with tape, and then you paint inside, and then it comes out as the shape you want. Pro painting tip, as you're painting, you wanna make sure you take your strokes all the way to the edge of the canvas, so that way you don't have any streaks. My goal is to give away 50 free ice creams today. So if I can give away 50, I will be happy with that. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Be happy with this stand, I think it's gonna do well. Perfect. Oh, that is a good canopy, I have to admit. That's why I hired Carice. I'm getting paid. That's why I asked Carice if she could help me. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my box to dry so I can do some other designs on it. I gotta figure out how to attach this to my body a lot better because that's gonna be the only chance I have. Get your stand in, it's getting wet. Oh, no. Help. Uh, why is Colorado weather like this? We were just about done with the ice cream pop-up shops and we were gonna take them to the park. But now it's raining. Why? And as you can see, I'm out here in the Colorado forest and you can tell it is storming like crazy. So unfortunately, any of you who had planned to open an ice cream shop today, looks like you're gonna have to postpone that. This rain is actually a blessing in disguise. As I've said, my stand is looking a little bland. We're not gonna be able to do this until tomorrow, which gives me the opportunity to order stuff on Amazon Prime to really spice up my stand. We're back shopping at the store because ice cream for ice cream shops. What I really wanted to do was make my own ice cream, but the problem is it's gonna take forever and cost me more money. So I think the easiest way is just to get a little bit cheaper ice cream and then I'll scoop them. I'll put them in the mason jars, cool toppings, should be fine. Whoa. I'm only gonna be doing ice cream sandwiches, ice cream bars, anything convenient in a little wrapper that I can just hand out to people. 
Are you eating your stockpile? I had to make sure this was a good kind. Dude, look at this cart. <laughs> Very good before it melts. You guys spend all your money? Yep, that's definitely all my money. All right, we're loading the ice cream stands up, and we're gonna go to the park and try and get some sales. All right, we just pulled up to the park where we're gonna set up our ice cream shops, and we did shout it out on Instagram, so there's already some fans here. I really should have invested in a hat as part of my budget. I'm all out of budget, and I'm hot and sweaty. Right here, I'm putting the final touches on my stand, so I got my menu right here, beautiful ice cream shape. I'm gonna put my sign right up over my head. That is beautiful. And I think I'm for sure selling the most ice creams. My Setup is ready to go. I mean, look at this organization. I got the ice cream here. You scoop it, you put it in the mason jar, then you got the topping spoon, and they're ready to go. How heavy is it? You might be wondering. We don't know yet. It is time. We are open for business. All right, we are open. Come, come get your free ice cream at the ice cream bar. Hello, guys. Hey, I love you. Where the heck are the drumsticks? Oh, I found them. There we go. Subscribe. Let's go. Just get a cookie sandwich, please. A cookie sandwich. Oh, I got my first customer. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Look at that. I felt bad because he got the smallest budget. Oh, that's nice. What? <laughs> How's it going, Blake? Well, I got rid of one so far. There we are. Thank you. What can I get for you, bud? Can I get the ice, uh, the Oreo sandwich? Hey, nice shirt, bro. I made the mistake of putting the Oreo sandwiches all the way at the bottom. There you go. Thank you for your business. Can I have the ice cream chopstick, please? Of course you can. Vanilla sprinkles, you got it. Boss. Vanilla sprinkles, nice. How's the setup so far? Oh man, it's a back workout, but you know what? I do it for the love of ice cream. Cookie sandwich, of course. Thank you. Yay! Quick <laughs> ice cream bar. Quick ice cream bar, of course, sure. I think I got rid of five so far. Has there been a particular bar that's been standing out? Oh, definitely the Oreo sandwich. Number six. Guys, I'm insanely surprised at the turnout so far. We literally just opened five minutes ago and there's already a giant line here. Thank you. You're welcome. Cool. You get some free ice cream? Of course, oh, of oh. course. You scream ice cream, we all scream for ice cream, no matter what your age is. Let's go. I want vanilla if she wants to. Okay. What's up, man? What can I get for you? Uh, can I get a orange circle, please? For sure. There you are. Thank you. So you uh, took a seat, Andrew. You know, just a quick seat. I'm not tired or anything. Can I please get the Twix ice cream bar, sir? 100%. Can I get the Oreo sandwich? For sure. As my ice creams are, are melting at a rapid rate. POV, you're putting M&Ms in her ice cream. Here's the lid. Ha. Huh. You're welcome. Oh man, so many customers. Put your hands out so I can like, yeah, yeah. I mean like normal out. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. oh, look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Magnum bar. Magnum bar? That's my first Magnum bar sale of the day. Isaac, this is your, what your ice cream looks like Just now. Don't show the customers. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna check out each of these guys' stands to see how they did. Blake, do you um, have any non-dairy options? Uh, oh, yeah, well, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. but I don't know if they're, I think they're non-dairy. Ice cream treats for dogs. I don't know about that. Is that non-dairy? I don't know, I think that's dairy. But I also am not a dog, so maybe I'll just keep that here. Blake gets a bonus point for thinking of ice cream for dogs. What now, flavor is it? Oh, bacon. bacon. Oh, I'm wondering, minging. do you have any organic ice cream? What I do have, and this is my big seller, obviously since I have diabetes, I am trying to cater to the diabetics out there. And so I am offering keto ice cream, low sugar. I should probably give, do an announcement. So no organic ice cream? No organic. Hello, does anybody have diabetes? Minus three points for no organic ice cream. Okay, do you at least have any raw milk ice cream? No. I gotta go. I'm not pretentious. <laughs> Sugar-free ice cream for the diabetics. Raise your hand if you have diabetes like me. Actually? Oh. <laughs> All right, Andrew, how much was your budget? 75. The fact that your ice cream comes with a mason jar, Yeah. It's you already get here. two bonus points for to these guys. Isaac literally just has bars. Yeah, what the heck? Man, Blake, you're flying through these. So as I've been filming this, I've been observing where everyone's going, and surprisingly, because Blake's ice cream stand stands out so much compared to Isaac and Andrew's, he's been getting quite a few customers, almost as much as Isaac. Guys, I'm running low on Oreo sandwiches. I'm not running out. Yeah, it's because no one wants your garbage ice cream. I'm already up at like 35 ice cream. As am I. There we are. Thank you. 
There we are. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to mark some stuff off because I've sold out. You're sold out. Sold out. Sorry. Well, no, I'm not sold out of everything. This guy sold out of everything. He just nope, said. Nope, nope. Lake shop is probably doing the worst. The ice cream looks like dog cups. That is true, but surprisingly, he's had about the same amount of customers as Isaac. You might want to get a spoon for this one. What the heck? Man, it's not done. Oh, wait, yeah. I got a spoon for you. There you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, phew. Slightly melted ice cream. What can I get for you guys? A drumstick. Yes, I think we have one left. All right, guys, that's drumsticks off the menu. Oh. Sprinkles, whipped cream, all the flavors. Oh, oh no. Oh. He opened up his box. I got some non-melted. I got ice cream sandwiches. Fresh out of the box. Nah, nah, nah. I'm good. Nah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. Yeah. Yeah. vanilla. Who wants chocolate? But Oh. I'll go for chocolate. Yeah, over there. Chocolate. You don't want that garbage. Yeah, throw those, those in there. there. Does anybody have diabetes? I got diabetes free ice cream sandwiches. I don't understand the words you just said. Uh, what does that mean? I got diabetes friendly ice cream sandwiches. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, yeah. Mm. Phony ice cream. Phony. What? You're an imposter. <laughs> Try this one. It's sugar free. Tell me what you think. Oh, oh that's right. <laughs> Hell, bud. This one's a fruit one, and it's no sugar. I'm sorry. my business. That kid's cracked. What can I get for you? Can I get a cookie sandwich? Cookie sandwich? Of course. Thank yeah, you. You can have a strawberry one. You're welcome. Don't be a phony. Shop with Andrew only. Don't be a phony. Shop with Andrew only. I should sabotage his thing. Yes. <laughs> Oh, we got some scooter kids. You guys want some ice cream? Really? I have ice cream sandwiches. Yeah, really? Really? Yeah. Fake? Fake? What the? Who wrote that? Did that kid do that? Who crossed out all my items? Oh, I guess I'll just get shop with the real ice cream. I gotta get rid of this menu. Are you sick again? Blink. Blink. <laughs> Why are you the ice cream sandwiches, those are pretty frozen. This one's kind of frozen. Perfect. I would love this. Wait, why am I Is that oh, gonna, can keto. moms have one too? Of course. Everyone can have Thank one. Thank you. Blake, stop showing my customers these. I'm obviously not selling these. It's like those things you buy at the Rainforest Cafe where you squeeze them and they got the little whales in there. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. What? Or Drew, put it on the screen. Idiots. I think my back is officially about to break. All my ice cream is, I think, melting. Mine's frozen still. Customers are all gone. I think we're gonna close up shop now. Sounds good. So glad I won. What? Final customers, Andrew with 13, Blake had 33, and Isaac with 60 total customers as the winner. Guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like, yes. subscribe, we'll see you next time.